With over 50 years of boat manufacturing experience, Haynes Hunter has earned a solid reputation as one of the most respected fiberglass boat brands in the Southern Hemisphere. This is the 675 Offshore Hardtop, capable of hosting six large adult anglers in comfort for a day of offshore Sydney fishing. This boat is fast becoming a must-have for many of Australia's offshore boaties. There's a variety of different outboard options, but today's Haynes Hunter Tester features the 200 horsepower Mercury four-stroke Verado. This boat is more than capable in almost any unfavorable weather conditions, making those calmer days that much smoother. Today we're on an offshore fishing adventure with expert angler and good mate Dom Wiseman. With over 20 years of fishing experience, Dom is all too familiar with this type of fishing. Well Dom, it is a beautiful day to be out here on Sydney Harbour working, if you can call it that. <laughs> Particularly given the fact that we're on the latest Haynes Hunter 675 Offshore. They've been around a long time, they really know what they're doing and there's a lot of I guess R&D that goes into building boats like this so they, they certainly have put in the time to produce quality product. Dom, you talk about quality of Haynes Hunter, well you know, let's take this tower, it is so solid that this tower will outlive the boat. Absolutely, it's well constructed, look it's, it's been designed for a purpose, there's a lot of rod holders up there as well but it creates a nice enclosed area up the front. So yeah. if you're powering out offshore, you're not gonna get wet, you're not gonna get spray in the face. They've got this clear that runs around. Dom, talk us through the electronics package on the uh, 675 Haynes Hunter. Well, these guys have set this up. It's the MW Marine setup. They've got essentially the Mercury, the four stroke engines controlled here from this vessel view com control center. You've got a Richard Fosgate stereo set up up here, nice and easy to reach, and you've got a top of the line Simrad electronics uh, screen here. That's a fish finder and a GPS unit. Uh, this is their standard fit out that they do on these sorts of boats. There are larger models in this particular sounder, and you could go, for, there is enough room to go for a bigger sounder if you wanted to yeah, there, for enough. sure. And a decent sized cabin down there. Yeah, it's a large space. There's a lot of storage down there. You've got uh, shelves on either side. There's plenty of room for your kit bags and anything you want to throw down there. And if you want to have a sleep halfway through the day, you can crawl in and yeah. have a nap. Got a kill tank down here. Yeah, look, this is the part of the boat I really like. From a fishing point of view, you've got the kill tank, as you mentioned, but you've got heaps of space here. Oh. There's nothing to impede any movement around the boat. So yeah. again, if you're a serious fisherman, you've got full access to this whole area and you can use every square inch of it. There's a bait prep, I'd call that a bait prep and a cutting board. So you can actually prepare baits. It's quite large, there's a lot of room there. You've got a couple of rod holders there as well. And down the back, each side, port and starboard, you've got a pretty large live bait tank. Deck wash as well, so if you pull a fish over and you've got a bit of grime about, you can give it a quick clean Mandatory, away. Mate. So there's plenty of things to like about this boat. There's also this tow rail section, so you can get your feet right underneath yeah, and you can I get right that. to the edge of the boat. Excellent. And you can lean against this, this side here nice and easily. Yeah, and I've noticed you've got LED lights here so you can fish at all hours. Absolutely, uh, yeah. And see what you're doing. And speaking of fishing, mate. Well, it's, the sun's getting up. We'll try a little bit deeper and hopefully the snapper will still be out there somewhere or maybe some kings just out off North Head. We'll see how we go. With the morning getting on and time not on our side, we opted to go fishing just outside the heads of Sydney Harbour, where we threw soft plastic lures into the turbulent white water running off the rocks, chasing snapper. When fishing up against rock shelves or bombies like we are today, having an experienced captain makes things much safer. One person up the back fishing, while the other watches the waves and keeps the boat out of trouble. In the short time that we've had the lines overboard, we've managed to land one small bonito that we put back to catch another day. With things being pretty slow on the water and the wind on its way up, we both agree it's time for lunch. Well, we didn't have massive luck out at North Head this morning fishing. We're a bit late to be honest. So now we're heading into the next best thing, the Sydney fish markets for a bite to eat of the fish we should have caught out there. How about it, Dom? Sounds good to me, my friend. When it comes to storing your new Haynes Hunter, 
MW Marine can assist you in choosing an Australian made galvanized roller trailer or alternatively can recommend a custom floating pontoon or dry dock. Tom, I don't know about you, but I had some genuine fun today on this boat. And um, like I said this morning, it's so smooth. You know, not the least of those controls being fly-by-wire throttle, hydraulic steering, it just makes the thing perform like a, if it was a car, it'd be a BMW. Yeah, it is a fantastically appointed boat. That steering is something else with the hydraulic controls there. But it's also very versatile. We went out there, we did a bit of casting at the washers. Yeah. We also trolled, caught a small bonito. Yeah. Ended up having to come here, but you know, it's got heaps of room in it. It's very safe, nice high sides as we talked about. And some great features like that door, uh, yep. the, two, the two live bait tanks, the kill tank, it's all here. It's got everything you'd need if you're a semi-serious fisherman. There's a big kill tank, it'll yeah. fit a pretty decent sized fish in it. Mate, there's um, nothing in there now when all else fails. Sydney no, Fish Market's back That's it, that's <laughs> it.